Hi everybody, welcome back to another airbrushing step by step. We are doing part three on the bar. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this one. Now we're painting the background today. I'm just going to run through some of the bits before we start and move the camera a little bit closer. So in part one, it shows you how you project the image up. Part two was colours, getting your colours ready because we're doing the background and I sort of moved into a little bit on part two on the stencil cutting it out the masking basically to mask out Bart because we're going to do the background and we want to keep him masked off so we don't get any overspray across to him so I've chopped that out and we're going to place that one on first but you're going to see that when we move closer in now I did mention we're doing a test run on my new Melee shields i've got them here so we've got three dread effects new ones this is my new set so they're all sort of handheld size different shapes they've got engraved my logo on the front which feels like braille which feels quite nice so there's that one for different shapes we've got another one with some straights on it because i always find you need like a straight edge on a shield when you're working some nice little tight V's and curves. Good for portraits and things around eyes. And we've got another one with some longer sort of swoops on it, a couple of sort of straight edges and some small intricate curves for going around tight pieces. So they'll all come in handy. All sort of random shapes come in handy on pieces of artwork because pieces of artwork, everything is random. There's never something mirror matched. Everything is a random shape. So I've tried to keep it as random as I can on them. So we're gonna be taking them for a test run. They are gonna be available very soon. There's gonna be an Etsy account, which will be set up where you can buy pieces of my artwork. There'll be prints and originals on the Etsy. There'll be shields, there'll be the Dread Effects tip tool. And I'm gonna do little mini sets where I will mix up little mini sets for you of my FWs. And it'll be a reasonable price. Little bottles like this. So you get a little test set like this of a load of colours mixed up with the ISO and water. So you get to have a go at that, a little box set. I'm going to try and sort of source that so we can sell that. So that's what's going to be coming up. I'll keep you posted on the Etsy account. You'll see it. It'll be a link when it's all running. It'll be a link in the video description so you can go over. Other things we're using today, paint-wise, because we're doing the background, I've got the three colours I'm going to be using. I've got the Wicked Black mixed straight with ISO. So we're going to use that one. I've got Golden High Flow Shading Grey Transparent. That one. And we're going to use, might drop in a little bit of FW Cool Grey. We've got some of that mixed. So they're the three tones I'm going to use for the background. We're going to use the shields that I just showed you. And I'm also going to use just some cut pieces of paper. Simple. You could use a ruler if you need to, because there's a lot of straight lines on this. So we're just going to be holding up and shading from these pieces of paper. It'll, it'll work, it'll do the job. Anything to hand that you've got, just use it. Cleaning materials, we've got a new addition to the studio. We've got a little vanity rotating cleaning station. So it just puts all the bits. So we've got mixing sticks, cotton buds, paper towel, cleaning brushes, mixing pots, paint stirrers, paint brushes. And it just all sits in that nice and handy. So if I mean little pots everywhere, I can just keep it all in that one to one side, job done. The brush we're using, I said two brushes. We are gonna be using two brushes. I'm gonna use the Iwata HP SB Plus on a zero two with the Takumi cup to the side with the uh, H&S top cup and H&S cap. So a little bit of a Frankenstein combo today on this one, but it works really nice. So we're going to be using that one on low pressure. And we're also going to be using the Sotar 2020 Slim. We'll do a bit with the Slim, dropping a bit of paint down. So two brushes, low pressure, no rush, plenty of time. Working from the tablet, <clears throat> I'll bring you in closer and we're just going to shield Bart off for a start, put the mask on and then just work, just basically go straight in using shields and sort of freehand with the airbrush. There's no other sort of like stencils or anything on this. It's just straight in, 
smash it out, <coughs> freehand. So you'll get to see me just sort of go around and we'll go in lightly and sketch this sort of out and just build the tones up, build them up, put the softs where we need them, put the sharps where we need them and we'll get it down. Because I want the background to be a little bit softer because we want Bart to be popping forward and looking more sharp. So you really focus on him and the background is just a little bit blurry in places. Try and get a little bit blurry and softer in the very far pieces at the back. And then just start to sharpen as we come forward and then really sharpen Bart up so it'll look like he's got a little bit more depth of field to the picture. So that's the plan. So I'll move you in a bit closer We'll do some tests with the paint, get the paint running nice before we commit, and we'll crack on. See you in a minute. Right, first thing we're going to do, guys, is we'll drop Bart on. I'm just going to get the application tape that I cut out. And we will sort of locate him the best that we can. That's not looking too bad, straight the way off the bat. Pencil lines, if there's any over, don't worry, we can get rid of them. You cover up a lot of pencil lines, you're not going to worry about that. So just pushing down. It will lift up eventually, now and again, when you're blowing paint around and air, you'll just see some of these edges pop up, so just keep your eye on your shield and just, just keep touching it, pushing it down, the edges. So that's that one. And then in the next episode, where you've got this piece, you'd do the same again. You would put this piece, take that one off, locate this one, the other one on the outer one. You'd put that on and then just mask off the rest of the background. So you, you've got bar, all mass and you just peel this center one out and then you can work on the outlines on him job done and all the backgrounds covered you've got no overspray of colors from him contaminating piece of artwork at the back so you can just put that one to one side now the color i'm going on the background i'm just going to go in in one color on this and it's the fw so we're just going to try it because I've just made a new batch up and put it in a bottle. I think we'll get away with that. Seems to be getting down. I'm just going to stick the crown cap back on for now, drop the cap on the top. So that's sorted. Just going to, a couple of turns on that tension. That's better. That will do. Right, we're good to go. Right, I'm going to start straight off in this corner here, and there's like a sort of bush. So I'm just going to do a random on and off the trigger and just create a pattern because that's all it is. You're looking at sort of a mottled pattern on this. that. I'm going to get the piece of card. I'm just going to shade off that. I think this is a fence. Just using the card. Some lines. I 
like that. I think they're all up here. These are just some random ones this way. Like that. Then what we got there? Some randomness. These are just shapes. So I'm just sort of drawing these in. Telegraph pole, so I'm just gonna drop the line up. Let's drop that in. Sharp lines off that. Just holding shields up, piece of cardboard. Nice and simple. Yeah, I think this is like a little tree in the background. Now I'm looking a little bit more closely at it. There'll be a colour on there. That. I'm actually looking at it, I'm not working from the tablet, I've got the I've got the image on the TV and it's like, ooh, it's quite nice to work from a 35 inch res, um, reference picture. You can see, I'm not going to use my glasses. Uh, let's line that a bit more. So we got that bit in. Let me go a little bit darker on this. Like so I'll just give you a little square on shot of that. We've worked this little piece in here. And I'll pop the reference up now this side so you can see it. So just that little corner there, just work that nice and soft, really sort of like on and off, fluffing the trigger so it looks like you see foliage in the distance. And this is a fence. You've got the telegraph pole bit here little bits here and there's like this look like, like little random bits of timber or a little bit of rock that's on the image here but that little bit I don't know five minutes if that just sketch that bit out we're going to start putting a tony around here next working around and put these little look like little bits of gravel or stone or whatever drop this bit in then we'll do the same mirror match because there's a piece on this side like a building we'll drop this piece in here We'll work this piece in here with that tone. Then we've got a red on here to work in, a red here, a light red. We've got some, we're gonna go shading gray on this piece. We've got a little bit of red in here to do, there. And then we can work the car in. So if you break it down into little sections and just pluck out little sections and work your way along, you can just sort of shield off, which all we used was a piece of paper to work these lines, holding it up like that and spraying away from it. 
really nice light low pressure and then you don't get much overspray when you're spraying up against something like that just holding your piece of paper so just break it down do a little chunk at a time the whole thing can look daunting but when you break it down to a little chunk boom that's done you can move over to that one drop that bit in move over to this piece drop this bit this bit just break it down into chunks take your time low pressure you won't get much overspray on low pressure and just use your shields to go around the piece right guys we're just going to do the same again the other side and just work this in so just do some little lines along here we've got like a dark bit along here there's some proper random shapes a little bit of that foliage looking so just do some little dot works and just flick your brush so at the end of the day this is background it's right in the background so A little bit of colour. I'm going to sketch this out, what I can see here. Some proper weird shapes. You're just painting little squiggly shapes.
if I do on that, I'm drop a tone in on it. A bit in there. As I say, it's like a background, so it's just little random squiggly bits. That's that. I think we've got a little bit of this. Telephone line coming down here. Just gonna do a very faint pass on that. Like that. On the actual image, I didn't really see this until I put it up on the TV. There's not some proper light stuff in the background. So we've got another one here. Just gonna go light and just faintly put that in. And here, in fact, I'm gonna do them. And all that we've got there's another little light one this way. We put it faint in, and there's one there like that. Around the back, there's a very faint, just going to do a very faint line. Looks like there's like right in the distance there's like a mountain type line. So I'm just going to do a random. It's just basically a very faint outline with like little very faint dot work. We just put something in that looks like it. Just very light line there. You can hardly see it. But that's what it's like on the image, so we'll go with it. So that's that bit in. We can now drop a line in here. Any overspray going on the inner of this because there is there's a little bit of paint on it, so we're just going to dust a little bit on the middle of it. Another line here. Just a little bit of paint. We've got one here. And that continues here with a little bit of paint over it. And do this one in pre and here. Like a little Some lines down this bit. Mm, couple on here. Another one. Don't mind the bits of overspraying on there though. these little bits in here. Just 
think these are weird sort of, these are lights or something, I don't know what these are. some bits that need a little bit more paint. Right, that's that bit done. We're going to drop a little bit around the bottom of this. So there's a few little squiggly lines coming across just go over some of these little bits get the shields out perfect that will do for that I'm just going to dust a little bit of this in. Round here. Just do some little... little dot passes and there's little like squiggles and stuff and get a little bit of that and just darken that out there this is going really dark here more paint We're going to put a darker pass around that when we start dropping the car. I just want to get it in place. There's a bit round Bart's foot, so we just... Chuck a bit in there.
few more little squiggles, lines. Drop a bit of paint in like that. I think this was a good colour pick to do for this background because it's very sort of similar on the, on the big screen, this sort of colour. It works, I think it works all right. So that bit's in. And a bit more of that. Background, just see them dot patterns through the back of the window. So we drop a bit of that colour in there. And there. I think that'll do for that colour on them bits. A bit more there. A little bit there. Little. You can just see like little random squiggles and just drop them in. We'll get this drop shadow here darker. Just want to put a bit in place. So now we can work in this piece, these bits, this. Oh, we've got a little bit on here to do. So we'll drop that in with this tone. I'm just going to straight line that. Drop a line in. I don't mind if I go into this a little bit darker than the, what the original is. Make it your own. We beat ourselves up too much about getting it identical. It's got to look identical. At the end of the day, you're showing people your version of it. You're not showing them the actual reference. So if you've gone a bit darker in one place, it doesn't matter. It's your picture. We'll do a little bit of texture on that. Right, that's that bit in. Red under there, little bit of red and a bit of outline on there. Red on that, red underneath on that. Work some shading grey, a little bit of red there. And then we can work the car. Job done. We'll have a little pause, I'll see you in a minute. There you go guys, so a little square on shot. So we've worked that bit in for a start. We chunked away at that bit. Then we moved over to that bit in the corner, which is that little real distant shot there in the, in the back. Dropped these lines in, dropped a bit of a tone in, free-handed these little bits in, dropped the sort of cables in nice and light. And this is that little very faint outline at the background because there's one on here, very light. And there's a little bit of that tone through the back windows. Drop the lines down here. Dropped a little bit of the drop shadow here. A few little pieces on the floor. A little bit under the bar. Job done. We're just chipping away at it. We're going to go in with some red here next. Work these bits. A little bit under here. Shading grain. Just doodle this in. Because when you look 
I mean, they're just, it's tiny. On the actual reference, they're just random little shapes. I'm just gonna sketch this out, shading gray, drop a little bit of red in, and we'll have these pieces in, not a problem. And then we can start working the car in. And you'll just go the same sort of way. You'll hold shields up, we'll do the wheel, chip away at the wheel, drop that in. Next piece, this piece here, shade it. And just work round with your shields, nice and light, holding your shields, and just chip away. And then before you know it, the background will be in and done. Looking nice and sort of soft, sharp where you need it. We're getting there. So I'm gonna take a little break, five, and I'll see you in a minute. Right guys, we're back. We're gonna drop some of this red in on here. I'm just gonna go in and do like dot passes make this look a little bit more mottled because it's sort of dotty on the image. Let's just build it up around this text. Literally just going around the text. When you zoom in on the image, it's just very dotty. So I'll make it look like it. Keep building it up. I'll do for that one. Look the same this side. A little bit sharper on the line now. Any of the pencil lines here, I'm just going to rub out. I'm going to do another pass over this red.
That will do for that pass. bit underneath here so I'm just going to drop a tone of it in here and I've got some in here so I'm just going to drop a bit in there I've got a little bit of red down here somewhere now I think it's around here just doff some in there well doff a bit in there a little bit of red around that. We've got some down here as well. There's a few more bits that I've missed on here. And this is what I mean by when you do your piece of artwork, make sure you get all your bits in there. Actually, trying to. Do bits as you go along. Um, oh, we're going to get some shading grey. I'm going to go in with some shading grey. And just go around and just darken. This lettering is like, you can't really read what it says, it's some real weird scriggles. slightly there, it'll dry back, you can tidy it up. Roughly like what you're looking at. Oh, we got here. We 
got some. Open it. A bit darker here. I'd leave for that bit. Move up here. There's some random ruins. Some proper weird random stuff in here. A little bit more paint. Right, we're just going to free on this. Just little squiggles and I think I did the red part in one of these bits in the wrong place. Doesn't matter. The red needs to go sort of down here. 
we can drop a little bit in. Shading grey is really thin. <laughs> I've over thinned it because <clears throat> it was being a nightmare. And it blows out really quick. That bit in. We've got another little bit here we can just go with a bit of shading grey on that. That'll do for that bit. I'll a little bit more of that in a minute. So we've got that bit in. In fact, we're going to switch the brush up. We'll drop onto the sotar now and just start blasting bits with the sotar. Just give this one a clean out. So just chipping away. That shading grey is horrendous. As I say, I had problems with the shading grey. It's really thick and then when you thin it, you get to that point where it's, it just hits too thin and then the air pressures, you're dropping it right down, then it won't spray, but then you give it too much air, a little bit more air pressure and then it wants to spider. So I'm gonna jump on the sotar, I'm just gonna Now, <laughs> Sotar's working nice. Drop 
put in a bit more colour under here of this red and then we'll go a darker red like that we'll just do a little bit of Proper weird text, you can't even really see it on the actual image. On that bit, we'll drop a little bit more. Drop that. Really no pale. We can always tint this back. Drop a little bit in there. We tone over this. A little bit around the bottom to this weird looking text. that back a bit. Oop, not the camera. Right. I got the way of that in. Right, we'll start. We'll start chipping away at the car. So we'll start round the back wheel.
Throw some bits in. Working along. Oh. It's going to go in light. And just sketch it out. And then we can just line, we're going to line some of this up with some darks, I think, just to make it pop a little bit. And just build it up that way. some bits out. Just keep it nice and light because I want this to be sort of softer anyway because I want bark to be really the main Doodling. Doodle doodle. Oh, 
Bring out a paint. The so tile's running lovely. Really is. Just going in rough and just getting the paint in. Drop a little bit in there. Shading grey is a nightmare. Oh, here he is. See how runny that is. I'm sort of cranking the pressure up to get it out of the brush, but then it is way still feels way too thin.
hung out. Oh, I just want to keep this background real soft light. Nothing to Didn't put a registration plate in. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Just keep it nice and sketchy type of light. Just going to go over a bit of the edge of this. 
here. Well, I'm going to get a little bit of orange and just drop a little bit of orange on them bits that need a little bit. I'll we'll just tint this back in a minute. that just building it up and what we'll do now is we'll just have a look and see what we can nib out with the eraser just take some bits out some of the unwanted lines right we've got a little bit of FW black and we'll just Darken out some bits. Just 
just sink some bits back. Even it fogging type sort of light. Don't want everything too sharp. Just gonna dust a bit over. Keep it. Just fog bits over. Keep it sort of sketchy. Loose. I'll do it, just pop little bits in. A little bit dark on the mix. Thank <laughs> you. 
Just keep it loose. Doing some little bits where I'm just sharpening little bits up. Which will be enough. Yeah, there's some quite nice shapes on these shields that are just all sort of pulling into place with these. They're not bad at all, they're quite handy. It's getting used to them. Once I've got used to picking them up and using them around the pieces of artwork, you'll know exactly which one to pick up to get what you want. Out on that bit, the line down here. Get some more shading grey. So I can pop some more white highlights in. You'll only see your white highlight if you've got a dot next to it. Oh, 
Few little highlights there. Darken round Bart's feet and drop shadow here. That's that bit. on the Dark bits on that. Start to shade a few bits in. I think we're going to go with that guys there you go so you see how i worked it sort of just sort of sketching it out nice and light because i wanted it soft everything's sort of soft around the back and then this will be really sharp will really pop this forward so he sits right forward and then you've got that nice soft look in the background we broke it down sort of nice and light here i worked these bits in first that was the first piece then i worked that piece in and we moved on to these bits here just using a straight piece of 
cut out paper with one tone worked it round just going over your lines dropped a bit of the shading round here and under bar with that um, creator and the wicked tone and then we just started working the car in use the so tile was working lovely it really was it coped with all the paints flows really well and we just sketched the car in to get your highlights to pop you need to put a dark either side of them for it to pop out so I just went in with the shading grey and just sort of sketching like you're doing with the pencil loose even if it's going over your lines or misting over to another bit because you're going in light it just builds up and builds up and just drops a few darks in a little bit of the orange on these bits Posca paint pen went in do it and then smudge it put it on smudge it and just sort of blend it into your background and we've got it down there you go guys we've got it down sort of nice and easy just sketch in with a brush nice and light we wanted that nice soft background we didn't want everything too sharp because you're trying to make that look a bit for a little look a little bit further back we'll really pop bar out because there's a lot of color in bar you've got your blacks your blues we'll really sharpen it and just boom it'll, it'll just pop on the front piece and then when you look at it from like a distance of a meter your background will just sort of just soften in into the background as you look at it and that's what i was aiming for but nice light i'm going to get a little stencil cut for the number plate we'll do that when we do bar we'll just finish the number plate off um, and then in part four we'll put the other mask on take this mask off and then start to paint him i've used the shields i used I used a piece of paper for the first bit because there's a lot of straights in it. You're just sort of shading off straight edges. So a piece of paper. Then I used my new set of shields. So you can see the ones that I've picked up and the edges that I've used come in really handy on these shapes around the car, just holding them up and working them around. Once you get used to a set of shields, it's like my old Mayler one. It's covered in paint and I just know it like the back of my hand, I could just go and move around with it. It's getting used to your set when you keep picking them up. You know the shapes then, so you instantly go, yeah, I know which one that is and that is, and you can just work around. But they've worked really well. They're nice size to your hand. Nice flexible, you can move them like that, push them against your work. There's a nice straight edge. I like the straight edges on shields as well, where you've got the nice straights, and then you've got your sort of like swooping curves on them, they come in handy because every piece of artwork, it's always random. You always have random shapes. So as I say, we got it down in the end. We've used FW black and FW red and orange. We've used the Wicked Black mix to do the background. Shading gray, they're the ones that I've used. And we used the eye water for this piece and then jumped onto the sotar. I preferred the sotar out the two. The eye water started to choke with the FW, with the um, shading grey. And I thought, no, I jumped onto the sotar and it's just, it was just lovely to work with. It really was. It was just really nice to sketch with that brush, bringing the pressure down minimal paint in the cup it just flowed really well so out the two i preferred the sotar for when for doing this it was just nice and easy lovely trigger on it so we will continue on with the sotar to drop bart in in part four so i hope you've enjoyed it learned a few little bits along the way hope you picked up enough like with the, with the pause and the straight on camera and give it a little talk through and where i was just sketch it out nice and light if you're doing backgrounds and they're sort of blurry you've just got to sketch it and not go too detail on it just sort of loose keep it loose light and just build it up if you go in too dark too quick you can't sort of take that away so just keep it very light and just work your, work your paints up that's all we've got to do just pop it in really light and build it up so drop your comments guys tell me your thoughts if you're liking the content, click that subscribe, press that notification, and I will see you in part four when we complete this. We'll get bought in and I'll get the number plate and we'll be done.
So thanks for watching. Cheers, guys. <laughs>